I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me will never hunger. Anyone who believes in me will never thirst. These are the words of our Lord Jesus. Beloved, Jesus gives us his body and blood as real food. Jesus gives us the Holy Eucharist as the food that endures to its and alive. The manna which God fed the people of Israel has its fulfillment in the Eucharist, in the true body and blood of Christ. As Catholics, do we really prepare ourselves before receiving Jesus in the Eucharist? Many of us receive Jesus in the Eucharist in the state of mortal sin. We need to prepare ourselves and allow Jesus to come into us, transform us. When you receive the Holy Eucharist, you should bring something new to the society, to your marriage, to your family, wherever you are. As St. Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17, and from verse 20 to 24, that we should not live like the Gentiles. We should put away our former way of life, our old self, and allow Jesus to transform us. That is what the Eucharist does. When you receive Jesus in the Eucharist, let Jesus transform you. Cut off your, from your old way of life, the life of sin, and let righteousness take control of you. Keep away from sin and say yes to righteousness. And I have a few words for you, dear married couples. Let the power in the Holy Eucharist transform your marriage, transform your own life. Have special reverence, honor, and adoration to Jesus in the Eucharist. Have a special devotion to Eucharistic Jesus. The power of Eucharist will transform your marriage, will transform you, and will make you a saint. And today I pray for you. May the Lord bless you, and may the Eucharistic Jesus grant you the grace to strive for holiness, righteousness, and perfection. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.